Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dustin Ray, and I am a senior network architect here at Comport Technology Solutions. What we'd like to show you today is HPE Aruba's airway of management and monitoring platform for your network. In most cases today, everyone has third-party networking devices. Nobody is on the same vendor across their entire network. If it's from security firewalls to routers to access points to your wired switching. So you need a monitoring platform that can clearly analyze data from all of these active sources and be able to give you useful data and feedback on how to troubleshoot and activate your network in a way that's secure and very easy to troubleshoot. From here, I'd like to show you how Airwave Management and Monitoring Platform can help you with this problem. When you log into your Airwave platform, you will immediately see a lot of information. You will see the new devices that you can provision to groups. You can see how many devices are up, how many wire devices are up, and how many wireless devices are up. You can see how many devices are down. You can see a mismatch of devices trying to connect. You can see row for intrusion detection or intrusion prevention. And you can see the number of clients you have on your network, all while quickly looking at the initial screen. Please note that all of these are clickable hyperlinks that are embedded. So if you do want to dive more into anything specific that you see when you first log in, you can easily click up and immediately go to the part of Airwave that's covering that section. The initial monitoring page on home view is going to show you a variety of different things. And because it's a virtual machine that's running on your own servers, it stores data for however long that you feel is necessary. So initially, we can look at a two-hour window versus a one-day, one-week, one-year, or if we need to look at a longer period of time, we can configure that from the date the server was up and running. We can see what version of Airwave that we're running, because this is very crucial when new features, new capabilities come out. But from the monitoring page, we'll quickly be able to see how many clients are on the network, and we're looking at Mac among clients right now for a two-hour window, but if we can also take a look at average. We can even filter down specific sources of networking devices that Airwave is monitoring and be able to filter that down at the device level if we need to. We'll also look at network usage. So we can see total in, total out. We can look at our VPN connections that are also flowing traffic in and out. And again, we can filter that by specific sources if we need to. We can see the folders that we've created for the devices that we want to monitor, we want to manage. Folders are a really great way in Ad and Airwave to quickly filter out specific groups of network management monitoring equipment that you want to look into from a monitoring perspective. And we can look at status, we can look at configuration compliance, and even more importantly, we can look at alerts. Alerts are crucial when it comes to troubleshooting your network, and being able to see this as soon as you log in is crucial. But you may ask, what is it like for a device that initially gets onto the network? We can see we already have two new devices in here, but they actually haven't been provisioned into a group or a folder. If we look at devices, there are two different device lists. We can look at devices or we can look at device setup. Device setup is going to be able to migrate those devices into a folder. So we have all of these native tags that we can apply to the different devices from different vendors. We can look at 3Com, which is like CHP, Comware. We can look at APC, Alcatel. They have Cisco, D-Link. There's so many different options that you can tag these devices as to enhance your network management experience. Or if you have a CSV file that you'd like to upload and you already have it put together, you can quickly upload that and immediately have all that rich data flowing into Airwave without much work having to be done. If you want Airwave to discover your own devices, they offer a full scan service where you can scan entire subnets, entire networks, all at once using Airwave itself to reach out to those devices. So if you don't want to go in and manually provision the MAC and the serial number or the specific device information that you want to manage, as long as the device's SNMP credentials are allowing you to scan and do a read-only or read-write, you can quickly scan your network in any way that you want. We can scan by network itself, 
We can scan it at a subnet or cluster level. And then we can put in specific credentials to match groups, to match parts of the individual subnets that you want to scan at a time. Once that's done, we'll actually have a scan set put in. And you can see there's quite a few already put in. And then we have our seal controllers. We have all of these credentials set up that are going to be used. And then we can see the devices that it's found, the new devices found, the rogues that it's found, and the new rogues that it's found, when it was started and when it was last stopped. So these scans right here are a really easy way to initially set up your Airwave appliance and quickly get your networking appliances into Airwave so you can see all the data that we saw on the home page. If we go back to home, and we see that there has been a lot of users that are having trouble getting onto the network, but you don't know exactly where. We can start by looking at Clarity. Clarity is a fantastic tool that initially is going to show you all the failures and give you statistics on what's happening on your network. As we can see here, we'll see a time window of two hours. Let's switch that to one day. And we can see association failures. Green means good, so we're seeing 1% association failure, which is totally within the norm. But we're actually seeing 4% authentication failures, which isn't unreasonable, but something that we want to check into. And by hovering over that, we can see a lot of it has to do with Mac authentication. So there may be Mac spoofing going on your, on your network, or there may just be a Mac mismatch in your database that you can check. DHCP failures and DNS failures. But if we want to dive into more, we can see at the individual AP level exactly the user that was having authentication or association issues. Or we can filter that down by MAC address. And if you want to dive into more information about why that specific user, why that specific AP, why that specific instance was having so much trouble, simply click. And it's as easy as that. We can see the authentication failures at 100%. So this user that was on this particular AP was having a lot of issues getting onto the network. So let's go into the user information itself. And this user was stored as a MAC address. If they have a username, it'll also be stored as a username that you can do. Since they weren't able to get on the network, we don't really see any data in signal quality or usage. But we can see exactly the last username that they tried to authenticate with when they were first seen, when they were last seen, the device type. It's a Linux device that's connecting via 802.11ac. And we know that this particular AP is an Aruba IAP 303H. So we know exactly what model AP this is because of the name that was given. We can see the device type. The um, mm. We can even see the classification. Classification is really key if you need to quickly boot someone off your network, if you see um, authentication issues that you may not be worried about but may be showing as a small error or alert. You can leave them as unclassified, which is what their default is, or you can make them contained, which will be, which is a setting that you can use to quickly boot them from the network until you're sure what they are and what they're trying to do, or you can label it as valid if you think it's just an error. One other thing that Aruba does is give you fantastic reporting features. There are a lot of canned reports that come built into Airwave that run on a daily basis, a weekly basis, however long you want. Most of them will run by default on daily. But if you don't like that and you want to create a customized report, we can go into here and we can set specific reports that focus on exactly what we want to see that are either scheduled and email you the results or will give you a downloadable report that you can have in your, in your weekly meetings, in your monthly network analysis meetings, or just network health meetings. You can set those, you can schedule them, and you can make them focus specifically on what data, what groups of networking hardware that you want to focus on. And from here, we can see this particular report was created and focusing on client sessions. 
We can name it. We can set the report type if we want to use some of the TAN features. So we can focus on new clients. We can focus on network usage, match events. Anything that's already in here, we can use. Or we can leave it to custom. And it's as simple as drag and drop to quickly add in more useful information that you can relate to, that you can talk about in these meetings. You can go through here. Once you've added your individual reporting features, you can go through and you can filter by specific groups of devices, or you can filter by specific folders. So if we want to focus on this report on just certain users, certain APs, we can click that. And then once we go down and save, this report would also focus just on that group. There are a lot of options that are built in here, so your options are very open when it comes to reporting. If you want to start at a specific time, you want it to end at a specific time, and if you want to schedule it, you can, you can schedule the report to happen on a weekly, daily, monthly, or annual basis. And they run automatically once they're configured. If we want to take a look at one of those reports, you can see that this particular one is focusing on POC report, uh, focused on Wi-Fi for all groups and folders. We can see the date and time when it was started to when it ends. And this is to the report itself, not when the scan or the report was actually done. But we can see the initial information by top destination, by top applications, average uptime, top CPU utilization for the network appliance and then usage. And continuously, we'll see more and more information. And again, this is all customizable. This is completely drag and drop to make your life easier. If we want to take this and we put it, want to put it in an exportable file that we can email out to our colleagues, We can easily do that. It comes out in a nice clean format in PDF, in CSV files, or in an HTML file that you can share via the web. And finally, if we take a look at the Visual RF engine and, and what AirWave can really do, Visual RF is a tool that's going to let you visualize exactly your site and the APs that are placed and the users that are roaming your network. Let's take a look at the Aruba campus. We can see this building has three floors. All of the maps are on a per floor basis, so your facilities manager can offer you a map. And then you can see every AP and exactly where they're at in this building. We can take a look at the number of clients. We can take a look at a heat map. So we can see what our signal strength is throughout our entire building at just the click of a button. We can talk about channel or channel utilization. We can look at potential rogues. And all of these APs are specific APs that are at that specific site. So this isn't a general map. This is, an, this is a map of exactly what APs are where on your network. So you can quickly trace problems. You can quickly see if there's a potential signal interference issue. You can see all of this in a very easy to use format. If we want to go up one floor, it's just another click of a button. And we can see that there are several APs here and that single strength is obviously very good. The Visual RF engine is there to help you have ease of mind when it comes to your network monitoring on the wireless side. It's one to let you feel assured that your users are connecting and they have great signal strength and great signal quality as they move across your site, your building, or across your campus. Thank you everyone for your time. If you have any questions or want to know more about Airwave, please reach out to info at comport.com.